What's up, everybody? So, um, well, um, I'm gonna say, be honest about this something, but if you get if you guys like our videos, uh, the content, like the videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and do all that fun stuff. Because I'll be honest, like, if we don't reach a certain amount, we like of subscribers, there might not end up being a season three. So, in a way, come on guys, just keep on up. Like, don't forget to comment, like, please subscribe, and do all that fun stuff. We really could use it. And, you know, drop a comment. Like, say, hey, if you, even if you think the videos editing-wise need a lot of bit of work, that's awesome. Just let me know, okay? And as always, let's get right into and discuss today's Topic. So, do you really have to leave until Thanksgiving? Yeah, I figured me and my son need to do some traveling. Uh, after that incident with the cat, which I'm I'm really sorry about, by the way. Uh, we uh, we got some tickets. We got two tickets on a bus uh, to tour the Midwest. This doesn't have to do with any of the medication I'm having to do take, right? Listen. I know you think you're imagining me, and you think that all these inanimate objects talking to you are all imaginary, but just follow your heart, man. I'm as real as can be. Just just listen to your heart, man. Um, okay, but my psychiatrist says I have to take every drop, drop to stop the voices in my head, to, you know, stop the demons and all that stuff. <sighs> You do what you gotta do, man. Come on, son. Oh, do I get chocolate milk? Yes, yeah, son. We'll we'll stop at a Seven Eleven on the on the way to the bus, and uh, I'll get you a chocolate milk. Oh, do I get chocolate milk? It is November, so what exactly could go wrong, you know? I found that thing you were looking for. Oh, well, thank you. Like, I think I think we got the wrong thing, unfortunately. It's the right thing, isn't it? Um, I mean, you I'm, said you said Wayne Johnson. Unfortunately, it was a different film with Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson, he's the Rock, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's the rock. Yes, he is. What kind of rock is he? A very bold one. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, he is. Um, I guess this will work. Okay, good. I'm glad I found it for you. Okay, sure. We'll we'll do this. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Cause I love you. So I guess we're reviewing Doom for, um, yeah. And unfortunately we thought about reviewing Scorpion King, but that didn't really go out well. But today we're reviewing Doom, which is all, which is based on Doom 3, and it came out in the year 2004. Well, I mean, the game came out in 2004, and the next year the game came out. Movie. <laughs> all that but i guess we're gonna go right into talking about the film <sighs> greetings and salutations and before i you know dwell into this well episode on doom the 2005 film adaptation um I'm gonna give a little bit of details on, like, my thoughts on the film, like, not thoughts on the film, but how I, in a way, discovered the film. I perhaps, like, well, when I was, like, a young kid, I probably, like, or teenager, I had re read, we used to read a comic book magazine series, like, I think it was Wizard, or it might have been, 
I think it was either science fiction or something like that. I cannot remember. However, I remember one issue that had that was talking about Doom, the movie. And on the back issue of the cover, it had uh, like a DVD release of The Fly 2. So, yeah. Um, and keep in mind, when I first saw this article, and I had never known about Doom, I had never known it was a video game, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, keep in mind, I didn't really play um, rated M games when I was a, when I was a young age, you know. Uh, mostly played a lot of, like, Spyro, uh, Crash, you know, Disney games, all that stuff. Yeah. But, uh, having looked back at it, I'm gonna say, what are my total thoughts on Doom, the film? Well, so the film was directed by... Andres Bartokowicz. Bart Bartokowicz. Yeah. Um, so the guy also directed um, The Legend of the Street Fighter movie, The Legend of. Yeah. I'm, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I can't believe I'm about to say this. He did The Legend of Shun Li. And Cradle to the Grave. So. Yeah, it's not good. So, but instead of, like, you know, just delving into the past, let's just go right in and talk about how much money was did, did this film have. And a bu budget of 60 to 70 million dollars. But sadly, the film bombed at only uh, making eighty fifty eight point seven million dollars. So the cast includes for the film Carl Urban as John Reaper Grime, Dwayne Johnson credited as The Rock in the film. This was before he went as Dwayne Johnson, as Sergeant Asher Sarge Marin, Rosamund Pike as Doctor Samantha Sam Grimm. Jabbar Obra as Rourke Destroyer Ganon, Ben Daniels as Eric Goat Phantom, Razag Odet as Gregory Duke Schofield, Richard Brake as Dean Portman, Al Weaver as Mark the Kid the Italian, and Dexter Fletcher as Marcus Pink Pinky Pince Whiskey Whiskey, and Brian Still. As Curtis Dale, Curtis Dale as slash the Hell Knight. On oh, Doug Jones, uh, he has done a lot of creature effects. He was also well, he's done to know to be in a lot of monster films as creatures, ranging from um, in films such as Pan's Labyrinth. Like he was even the creature in. Um, the Shape of Water. And he was also in... Well, he was also in the Hellboy movies, too. As Abe Sapien. So, I'm almost... I'm gonna probably say... I don't... I mean, I think... I, here's what I'm gonna say. Is the film bad? Eh... At times, it can't be. However, I will say that one of the things that the film's trying to do is it's trying to do things sort of like James Cameron would, like for Alien 2. Have a group of heroes, um, and, you know, shoot a group of creatures in the dark. However, one thing I will say is that I wish some of the creatures... Some of the creatures, I would say... I wish, um, were perhaps a little bit lit more. I mean, at times you can see them fully well. I just wish that sometimes they weren't just, you know, always in so goddamn dark, you know. But, 
I mean, sometimes I guess, like, say you need to have your monsters hit in the dark. But, at the same time, I still think... I mean, I guess, like, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. The monsters for the film look awesome. I mean, the, they did a great job for the creature effects. Anyway, um, let's say what the word is. Transferring the creatures from the games to the film. And, yeah, this game, the film, isn't really an adaptation of, like, say, the original Doom. It's more of an adaptation of... Slight adaptation of... Doom 3, which had came out... Um... Close around the time of the film. One thing I will say is that one of the character, one of the actors in the film that is uh, kind of like, well, not really, is mostly kind of entertaining is Richard Richard Blake as in his character. I mean, he is just saying so much foul nonsense that sometimes you just need to say, "Wow, dude, you are such a sle sleaze ball." That um. But, I will be honest, at times when I've looked at some of the films that Richard Blake has been in, that, yeah, it seems like he gets written to be, like, a very dark, sleazy, given sleazy roles. But, yeah. And, keep in mind, this was back before Dwayne Rock Johnson was known to do was known like say yes Dwayne the Rock Johnson. This was back when he was still known as the Rock. Like you know when he was still like doing his WWE days. So we, I mean his acting for the film is quite alright. It's not it's not the greatest, but it's he's doing a great job. He's emoting, but he's not yelling. So yeah. Although he does yell at times. Um, one thing that I will say is that one of the most, um, like most, the highlights of the film is probably the first person perspective sequence where a Reaper gets, like, say, chromosome 25 or something like that. And because he is, like, heavily I got heavily injured so the sister goes like say okay I'm gonna give you a shot and he gets the shot and then he gets super healed and then he goes into the first person perspective and it's awesome so but I I guess like say one of the issues though is you could probably do this nowadays for a doom film however I feel like Compared to something like, say, Hardcore Henry, which I'd say, if you have not seen Hardcore Henry, I highly recommend that film. It's really a lot of fun. Um, that I feel like some people would probably say eventually get sick of the first person perspective if, like, you know, an entire film was based on, you know, just first person perspective. Hey, yeah, acting something like that. And I will say that the makeup at times can be pretty cool. I mean, it's like, well, it's not like, say, Oscar ripping, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I like makeup in, like, you know, all kinds of films. You know, well, because I did make them in college, so yeah. Whatever. And, in all honesty, the film isn't that bad. I mean, like, say, also, the, fa the fact that we get a Hell Knight is pretty cool. In the film, um, however, like, say, at times, like, say, some of the action, which is, like, say, like, a group of Marines are sent to a space station, and suddenly everything goes wrong, and suddenly they gotta figure out 
what is going on and a bunch of mutants not really uh demons spawn from the gates of hell have appeared that's not really what happens but although we do get say some interactions from characters such as pinky in this case like say one of the characters which is his really name is pinky uh he gets transformed and yeah like part of his legs like his body and he has a sit, pinky sits in a wheelchair so eventually he loses that part of him and suddenly he's just a giant you know pinky who uh, doesn't ha have any back legs just rest front legs and a wheelchair at the back but it's pretty cool but that's also the first person perspective honestly i'm gonna say it i don't think the film is that terrible at times it can be especially with the bfg and all the stuff that are featured from the game it can be pretty entertaining but if you're not a big fan of do dune i mean yeah doom i almost wanted to say dune i'm getting sick and tired of talking about dune in all honesty but yeah i find it entertaining one of it but is it very extremely faithful to the games no it's probably it's, it's kind of can be faithful to doom 3 which has more of a horror action vibe to it instead of like you know everything is more fast-paced aliens kind of vibe but i mean i'm that's i mean what can i say is it dog poop no it's not but what do you guys think put your thoughts in comments down below let me know and as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye You know, I'm starting to think this movie gave me hives or something. But, Tim, what are you doing here? You were supposed to leave earlier, weren't you? You sure that ain't herpes? It's, it, it, it's, it's not. It's, I don't think it's that. Back in my thought you had already left. What are you doing here? Forgot my hat. But, yeah, you, you better get that checked out. I, I had a friend once who thought he had hives. Turned out to be herpes, but... You know, uh, you really shouldn't. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough. Vacuum, you and your son need to go away. Okay, that's our show. What? I'm concerned about your health. I was woke up. I'm scared. Pepito, where have you been? Sleeping on a pile of leaves. Okay, okay, okay. You two both need to leave before I call, call and summon the ghost of Biggie Smalls to come get me. To take you both away, okay? Oh, good night, senor. I do not want Biggie Smalls coming for me. Well, good night, everybody. But let's just, let's just, uh, now after, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and try to go talk to the doctor to get rid, figure out some of the scratching. Itching. It's probably herpes, I'm telling you. I said, good night, everyone. We're going to go away now. We're go it's the end of the show. Episode. So back to that Rock Johnson. He more like in like. You might want to ask in the shot, though. So that way, so. That, so he more about that Rock Johnson. Is he more like this kind of rock? Or like this kind of rock? Or maybe like this kind of rock. This one's got a hole in it. Has he got a hole in his belly? <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> That's perfect.